What's going on everybody? It's your guy Golden Cash. Just got back from the bank. Got three boxes of halves. Hopefully we can get into some more silver like we did on our last hunt. We ended up hitting a lot of 90s. I was actually surprised we got more 90s than we did 40s. Let's jump into these boxes, see if we have any enders. But first, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep bringing you hunts like these right here. Let's pop these tops and see if we have anything on the top. I am very surprised on that last hunt we did not have any enders. Very, very surprised, as many as we found in that last box. I do not see anything in this box on top. But that doesn't mean anything, as you've seen yesterday. Pop open box number two. See if we have any enders in here. I don't see anything obvious on that side. And I don't see anything on this side either. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop box number three. Maybe there's a sister box to that box we had last night. Don't see anything, it's a little bit dirty coin. Don't see anything on this one right here. Let's pop this side, see if there's anything on there. I do not see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over and uh, see if we have anything on the other side. And I'll bring it back if we do. If not, we'll go ahead and jump into rolls one through five on box number one. I'll be back, hope we find anything else. Box number one, roll number two, gonna give us our first silver. It's gonna be right there. Pretty sure it is a 40 percenter, but I could be wrong. I am not, it is a 1968 out of Denver. That is our first find of the box. Let's keep hunting this silver. Box number one, roll number 12, is gonna give us our second silver. You can see that white shiny edge right there. Unless it is something different, it looks like a 40 percenter. Let's pull it out, take a look together. It is a 1969. You can tell it is a 40 percenter with that clad line in the middle. See that little bit of a darker edge on the left hand side. All right, that is our second 40 percenter. We got a 1968 and now we got a 1969. Let's keep hunting. See if we can find some more silver. And that is the end of box number one. We didn't get skunked. We found a couple of silvers. 1968 and 1969. We ended up finding a 1991 necklace coin. One, I am very surprised in the last few box hunts we have not found hardly any. I think we might have found this would be the fourth or fifth one in IFC that we have found besides the 1987s. And I found two really nice, oh, 1972 and a 1971. Denver coins. I, I just really, really nice. They might upgrade the book, but I doubt it. They do have a few little scratches on them. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into box number two and see if we can find some more silver. I'll be back if we do. That's the end of box number two. Complete skunk. That's just how it goes sometimes. And uh, not going to complain. Yesterday we uh, cleaned up on some 90s. Today we've got two silver. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on a box number three, see if we can find anything. If not, I'll do a half a box update and we'll go from there. And then uh, if we don't find anything in the half, uh, the other half of the box, I'll go ahead and jump on the wrap up. We'll be back if we find anything else. Roll number 20, box number three, is gonna give us our first silver this box. I didn't even think this was a silver. I can see it now, but I just did the sound test just to make sure. It definitely is a 40%. Let's pull it out and see if in fact it is. It is. It is another 1968. That's our second one out of these three boxes. Let's keep hunting that silver. Roll number 44, going through the roll. Pull the second one out and we're going to have another 1987, but this one is a Philadelphia. That is awesome. Another find out of the box. That's box number three. Roll number 44. Let's keep hunting. See if we can find anything else. 
Roll number 47 is gonna give us another find. I started going through the roll. And we are gonna have another 1987 out of Philadelphia. That makes two for this box. Our last hunt, we got three 1987 Denvers. Hopefully, we can get something else before the end of this box. Just checking to see if that was gonna be another 1987. Let's try this one right here. It's a bicentennial. All right, let's uh, keep hunting these rolls and see if we can find anything else. We got three left. And that is the end of box number three. Not too bad. Didn't get much silver. We got one, we got two in the last box. And uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm happy with what we find no matter what. As long as we can find something, doesn't matter if it's a DDO, silver, foreign, a magic coin, anything in a box is all right with me. Let's jump into it and see what we found. First, we got a 1971D that we, uh, it's really nice. I'm gonna see if it upgrades the books. It does have a couple scratches. 1972P that is in really, really nice condition. Then we found a 1972D, no FG. We got a necklace coin right there, 1991. And then we found one 2003 NIFC. That is the only NIFC that we found that is above 2002. But we did find two more. Two 1987 Philadelphias. The last time we had, we found three in one box. This one at the back end of the rolls, the back end of the box, we uh, found two 1987Ps. So I'm thinking that they're a set. There might be another one in the other two boxes that I have coming on Monday. They're at the bank right now, but they're closed throughout the weekend. So I won't be able to pick them up till Monday. All right, so we got two, our three silvers. We got two 1968s, and then we ended up with one 1969. Not too bad, any silver is good silver. I wanna throw that in the silver jar and add it to the count. All right, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can't bring any hunts like these right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.